This is a new home inspection. This is a builder in Little River. This builder uh, limits me from opening up the electrical panel and from going on the roof. So I try to do the best that I can um, with a visual inspection. So here, now this has already been inspected by the county inspectors and has passed. Otherwise there would be a patch on here Okay, so this needs to get fixed. As we go down, there's more damage. And let's go further down. And here we have about one third of the truss is missing. As we come over here, here's another truss next to it. Again, we got about a third, a quarter, well, I'd say a third of the truss missing. More damage, uh, damage gusset plate. Okay, so why is it important to find these defects now? Well, we're gonna need to have a structural engineer come out here and look at these trusses and come up with a method of repair. The structural engineer is gonna be at least $600. It's gonna cost four to $600 to have a carpenter make the repairs. That document will need to live in the attic space. Hopefully they'll nail it somewhere here so that when you go to sell this house, you've already proved that the trusses have been repaired properly according to documentation. This is why you have your home inspected. This paid for their home inspection and we don't have to worry about this roof coming apart. These roofs in South Carolina toward the coast like this house is where this house is located. These trusses are rated at 150, 150 mile per hour winds. So right now we have approximately, I'd say two, four, we have six feet of roof that's not properly supported for an uplift, okay? Uh, we don't have to worry too much about downlift here. We don't have snow, but we do have to worry about the uplift. New house, the city says, hey, this is okay. You guys are ready to move in. Um, this is why you have your home inspected.